you. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. I'm going to keep it loose. I love okay. It. I love it. Welcome to Cannes Film Festival. We're so excited to be here. We're now on a terrace on a hotel in the central of Cannes. And soon we're going to have a private interview with Uma Thurman and Richard Gere for the movie Oh Canada that has its premiere tonight in Cannes. Welcome to Cannes Film Festival. Uh, you're having your movie Oh Canada selected by the competition movies. So how was that feeling when you found out? I was so happy for Richard. I was happy and for Paul. her. And Paul. I mean, Richard and Paul Schrader back together again after so many years. Yeah. No, we worked, and Paul wrote a great script too. And we all worked hard on this, so of course we're happy. Yeah. I, everyone keeps asking me about the, when the last time I was here, and I can't remember the last time, but I remember the first time, which was the first movie I made, Days of Heaven. And I was still a young man at that point. And it was all a new experience, it's everything about festivals and yeah. being known in the world. But the last time you were playing together, if I'm not mistaken, was that in 1992? Yeah. yeah. Final analysis. She was a baby. She was 12 years old and I was 18. I was 12. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and so Richard so was oh the 5700. <laughs> oh We've so, known so each you, other a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you remember a lot from that, considering how... Uh, Do you remember a lot from the production playing with which? I remember nothing. I remember nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> no. okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, so let's start talking about your movie now, uh, Oh Canada. Richard, you're playing the old man that's facing a death, and in the movie is a documentary about his life, and you are trying to uh, reveal the truth, or you are revealing the truth about your life, but only when the camera is on. And Uma Thurman, you're playing his wife, Emma. Yes. And you're not so happy about it. Well, her husband is dying, and it, and it's a it's a tough it's a difficult thing to face. Yeah. And Richard, you want to tell us more about your character, Leonard? Well, he's a complicated guy. We're just talking to Paul about this. He, he's insisting on creating a situation with a camera on. Where, he says it's the only time that he will tell the truth yeah. if the camera's on. And I maintain to Paul, it's, just, it's my wife has to be there. So we fashioned a way in which she ended up being the one behind the camera. Yeah. So I was speaking directly to her. But at the same time, I don't know that he's even telling the truth. <laughs> I mean, he gives his version yeah. of the truth, but I think we can only believe him in that it's what he's feeling. Yeah. There's, I don't think there's any empirical truth to any of this stuff in the film. Mm -hmm. what what's uh, about your character? If you can tell us more about Emma. Well, she loves her husband. They, they have no children. They're passionate about their creativity and, and, and seem to have lived a beautiful life together yeah. up until this time. They had a partnership. They had a and real, an actual like when partnership. When Uma came in, it actually became more that way. That they have a real working partnership. It, it seemed like, you know, as a person who isn't married, it looks, it looked on the page like an enviable marriage. Mm. <laughs> I think it was. If you could find I one that was. looked like a good one. Yeah. Yeah. How is it to shoot a movie in a movie? Well, in I think the the part of the fun yeah. of, of us is to to play around with the metaphysical meaning of a camera and yeah. images. What does it actually mean? And the way the film works, it's using an Errol Morris technique where you actually look into the lens. Mm. So you're getting something that is extremely intimate and, and maybe more truthful because the camera's there, but we're looking directly into the lens. At the same time, there's, there's a meta version of that that's outside. And then there's the meta version of Paul and I having a history, yeah. and Uma and I having a history also. So there's a lot of swirling levels of, mm -hmm. of seeming reality. Yeah. So in the movie, I watched it, and um, you have an amazing cast, you two, and this Michael Imperioli in the movie as well. We, l we love Michael Imperioli. Yeah. You also went to see him on Broadway. Yeah. You were there just, I took Paul. 
Oh yeah. So when? W to the play. When did you go? Like a week later, you a had the later, same yeah. thought as as I thought, because Michael Perroli's uh, he's 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 debuting on Broadway, so of course he can't be with us here. So yeah. we went to oh, we, we all right, went separately with okay. was, was separately but not to, but together we all went to go see him. Yeah. He's very good in his Ibsen play on Broadway. Yeah. It feels like you're all three in the movie a lot, like yes. three main characters. And Jacob Elordi has his own narrative as a young Richard, which is really powerful and beautiful, I thought. He's terrific. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And of course, tonight is the premiere. So are you excited for the premiere and to see the movie? I, I think going up those red steps is always a real privilege. And um, I've been up them many, many, many times, and I've never fallen once. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> what about you, Richard? I, I realize it's the last time I have to put on a tuxedo here. Yeah. It's going to be tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that I can put it away for a while. Do you, do you still think it's exciting to go to these events? I, you know what's exciting? I have my son here, my 24-year-old son, and I've okay. never brought him to a festival before. This is the first time. Oh, so he's coming. So, he, yeah, I mean, he's not going to be on the red carpet, no, but, but, but yeah. he was with us last night. We saw yeah. Francis' movie. That's yeah. really fun for me. Yeah. Will this be the first time you've seen the movie or you've seen the movie before? I've seen the movie. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sometimes I've heard that some people see them. The night. It's true. I've yeah, seen so. movies for the first time here before, yeah. but not tonight. So, what will see your future projects? What will see from you in the future? Uh, Any I'm, projects lined up? Something I'm doing a about? sequel to Red, White, and Royal Blue uh -huh. that is coming out. Yeah. And I have another movie coming out that they will also have a sequel. I don't know. It's okay. sequel day for okay. me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks to all our friends yeah. in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank Looking you. Forward to see you. Okay.